Hi, I am Dr. Krishna Patil. I am a consultant nephrologist at Kim's Hospital's Gachibauli branch. As part of our kidney health initiative or the educational video series for kidney disease patients, today we will be discussing about kidney transplant. Kidney transplant is a life-saving or life-changing surgery for a patient with end-stage kidney disease. Patients GFR or kidney function when reaches to a point where either they land up on dialysis or they are near dialysis, then a kidney transplant surgery can give them a second life in which they can come off dialysis or remain off dialysis and lead a near normal life pursuing all their passions and education or job. So kidney transplant is a very safe and uh, life-saving procedure. It's a surgery in which a healthy donor offers his healthy kidney to the patient who has got kidney failure. So the surgery is of three to four hours. The donor can be of two types. The donor can be a living donor or a cadaver donor. The living donor transplants are more successful because they are planned surgeries. The donor has been selected after a lot of uh, evaluation and the kidney function has been assessed to be very good before the surgery. Even in cadaver transplant, all these parameters are checked. But still, since it's an emergency surgery, the outcomes are 5 to 10 percent less as compared to a living donor surgery. The problem for living donor surgeries is there may not be a first degree family member in the family who are uh, qualified as donors. So what are the qualifications for a donor? The first thing is the donor should have a similar blood group as the recipient. Nowadays we are also doing across blood group transplants. The data over last five years is very encouraging. But wherever possible, if the blood group is same, that is preferable. Second thing is the donor should not be diabetic and should not have high blood pressure requiring two or more BP medication. The donor undergoes a panel of tests to assess his fitness and then the kidney function of the donor is assessed. If the donor passes through all these battery of tests, then the donor is approved to donate the kidney. Typically, a family member, especially a first degree family member, is legally allowed to donate. If there is no first degree family member uh, who is qualified as a donor, then emotionally related donors like a spouse or a second degree relative where on humanitarian grounds without any financial transaction a donation is done is may also be approved. If there are no donors in the family or second degree relatives who can donate uh, to a kidney disease patient then the patient can be enlisted on a waiting list for cadaver transplant. Cadaver transplant means patient whose brain has died. Their relatives may uh, offer their organs to those in need. Such organs are very precious and can save or change the lives of people on dialysis. First qualification for enlisting in the waiting list is the patient should be on dialysis. Some states will uh, approve those who are on dialysis for at least three months. The patients before enlisting in the waiting list undergo a series of tests, especially a fitness from the cardiologist and other specialists to say that the patient is fit to undergo a surgery like transplant. Once their fitness is assessed, then they are registered with the state uh, body for transplant, which is called Jeevandan in Telangana state. So once they are entered in the, into the waiting list, there could be a waiting period based on their scores. Typically, one to two years is a waiting period in Telangana. Once an organ is available, the patient can undergo kidney transplant, which is a very safe 
and uh, uh, surgery performed at licensed centers by experts and so the outcomes are likely to be good. Thank you.